strong, not that strong. I have a no work on the weekends policy. However, I just have things to do by a deadline and next week during Christmas I'll be doing lots of resting. So that's gonna even things out. This is my to be delivered box. This is my client dress with a few masks that she also bought and then um, all the little mask packages that are going out. I need to hem this dress. I can take photos with it tomorrow and post it on social media. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. So I'm just going to even it out by hand and how I do is I pick the shortest point which is usually the center back. The back should be a tiny bit longer than the front because I have a butt. <laughs> and I basically do it by eye where I'll put a pin in where it looks like it's the same level and I'll just go around um, and mark it and then later I'll even that out. This is what it looks like. I think the left side is like a good, maybe half an inch, three quarters of an inch longer, which is interesting. Apart from that, everything looks good. I quite like this length, so I think I'm gonna keep it there. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna trim that. I'll go hem it and then this will be done. So here's my plan with Christmas gifts. Yes, there's a hot water bottle in my stomach. I was thinking of making tote bags for the entire family. And it's a lot cuter than I thought. I thought it was gonna be really ugly. But it's really cute. My little tag isn't it. The only thing is, I've washed all the fabrics that I bought for different family members because it's different fabric for different family members. I'm a little bit worried about the cotton canvas that I bought for the lining. I've made a practice one. I'm gonna wash this and just see how it reacts. But overall, it's really cute. I like the elephants. I think it's a good touch. So my goal today was to make this so I could wash it. So I'm gonna do a wash right now. And then we're gonna see how it's looking at tomorrow and then i'm going to adapt my recipe worst case scenario if it really looks bad when it's washed i'll just leave a note inside the gift saying please wash it by hand which is i don't like saying that because the thing that's convenient about like fabric bags is that you can just chuck it in the wash i came along a little bump in the road basically i'm making the dress for my sister and everything needs to be really stretchy except that this fabric only really stretches one way but i'm cutting a half circle skirt for the waist so i cut out a mini half circle skirt that's not been sewn together and i'm seeing how much it stretches because it stretches at some parts but doesn't like here it doesn't stretch a lot here it does and i think it'll be enough to Put over your head and over your chest so i'm happy about that remember when i started making this top i completely forgot so now i'm cutting out <laughs> i'm cutting out the rest um so it's gonna make a really really simple crop top which would be cute because julie and i can match and it's gonna be adorable i don't have enough fabric so this is like how much pattern is not getting any fabric however i'm hoping that if it's stretchy enough it won't cause me too much discomfort well this maybe not fit perhaps it's fine so i'm getting to that and i'm gonna cut my sister's dress it's just gonna be this pattern but like cut short basically so simple stuff um and then i'm hoping to sew them all tonight it's 8 30 but it's all just surging so i think it'll go by quite quickly and there's no zippers or anything because everything's stretchy so i'm just hoping to get it done today so that tomorrow i can focus on the bags and my how to be single dress did I mention how to be my how to be single dress? I absolutely love the dress that Alice wears in How to Be Single to her work Christmas party, and I bought some fabric, and I'm going to recreate it. Her checkers are a lot bigger than mine, but I think smaller ones will be better. So I really want to do that. That's the plan. I can't believe I'm working on a Saturday night. But what else am I going to be doing anyways? You know. Is like inside the sleeve at the moment because I sewed it right sides together and it looks like a sausage. <laughs> I just thought I'd share. How do I get it out? Wait. 
Okay, there we go. I was actually really excited for this top. It was such a random top that I made while I was live, that I cut out while I was live. Okay, it's gonna be kind of cropped. It's gonna be kind of tight, sort of everywhere. But all I need to do is, this is the neck piece. I'm just gonna try it on, see if it's not, that it's not too tight, and then I'll attach this, and then we'll be done. So, everything looks nice. I think I'm gonna add the band right here, will be nice. The only issue is the sleeves are really tight and I surged the seam, which I shouldn't have. I should have tried it on first. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna cut off the seam and I'm gonna try to salvage some new pieces from scraps. Um, and I'm just gonna cut it a lot shorter. Like, I'll make it maybe like here, and it'll be a short cat sleeve. And this happens every time as well. This has happened before this pattern. This bit is too wide and it looks like it's falling off and I think it gives me a lot wider shoulders than I actually have. Um, so I think it should be like this. I know it's not a big difference, but I want it to be nice. Right, it's done. It is a bit short, but I just didn't have any fabric left. So it had to be cut short. Um, I think it's cute. Here's my issue. It's 20 past 10. And this took me two hours to finish. And I think my biggest problem right now in what I do is that I think things take so much less time than they actually do. And so like at the end of the day, I'll feel disappointed because I haven't finished all the work that I thought I was gonna get done. And I feel like I didn't work hard enough, but I just don't have the right perception of how much things are gonna take like, in terms of time. I thought I was going to cut a dress and a top and sew all of it in two hours. I cut this bodice and sewed it together in two hours. Like the sleeves were already done. And I just need to like remind myself that if I don't get something done in time, it's not that I'm not good enough. It's just like, I, I can't understand how long things take still. Which is really because I've been doing this for seven years and I've been doing this full time for three, four months. <sighs> okay, one last thing. I was worried it's gonna be too short, but I'm trying it out with high-waisted jeans and it's like just enough. It shows a bit of skin, but like, it's not inappropriate, inappropriate. So it looks cute and white as well. Good morning. I don't have a lot of work work to do, but I have a lot of things to sew. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna start by going to the post office. This is like my post office box. I basically have a bunch of masks to send out. And then I have my client dress sent out. I'm always very scared sending out big client pieces because I'm worried that they're not gonna like it. And once it's out of my hands, it's out of my control. So I wanna take it out one last time check that everything works well, check that everything looks nice, and then I'm gonna walk to the post office. So I'm using this bag to put on all my orders. I washed it. And it turned out fine. I was really worried that the bags were going to shrink a lot in the wash, but it seems fine, which means I can go ahead and cut them out. All the outside fabric is pre-washed. It's more like the inside fabric. So, yeah. Those can begin to be made today. Let's see you in a second. Right. I'm going to put on a podcast or an audiobook and work. Enjoy the montage. bags that I need to cut out. It's currently almost three o'clock so I'm gonna film everything else that I need to film before it gets too dark out <laughs> and then I'm gonna have some lunch um, and then I'm probably gonna go live on TikTok and chat to you guys while I sew for about four hours. Hi, I've had lunch. Um, I also may have taken a nap but that's okay we move on. It's packing time. I don't even remember what I bought at this point. Ah, command hooks for my curtains. Wonderful. That's very exciting. And the other one should be string for my brother's bag. Before people come for me, I have different scissors that are meant for different things and these are no longer my fabric scissors. They have been demoted. You know what's ridiculous? This packaging, look. This is just stuffing. Anyways, I keep all my boxes in my packaging for when I'm setting up products. If I'm selling something in vintage, then I'll use boxes like these. 
Um, I'm planning on selling some things on my vintage, just clothes that I only want in the new year. I don't know when I'm going to do the sorting. I'm hoping to do it. Um, lovely. This is perfect. <laughs> are kind of sewn i went live and basically stitched everything i needed to stitch but i still have a bunch of stuff to do um i haven't started on my sister's dress yet um but yeah i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow oh god it's cold good morning my christmas plans keep changing i'll have three more days of being alone which sounds fine but i've now basically been in isolation for 10 days and i'm not gonna lie it's starting to become a bit tough <laughs> Today, I don't feel like sewing. I've been doing like last minute sewing and really rushing things and putting pressure on myself to make things when I didn't necessarily feel like making things. So I'm gonna clean my flat. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm gonna get my booster and that's gonna be it. Um, and I know that maybe later in the evening if I feel like sewing or cutting fabric, I'll do that. But for now, I won't. Um, this is what my flat is currently looking like. It might not be too dirty to some people but i have a lot of things in general and it just gets very messy very quickly and i truly believe in clean room clean mind or something like that so let's go Lovely. I'm on my way to get my booster and do my grocery shopping. And um, if you followed me earlier in the summer this year, you know that I got my first dose in Scotland and my second dose in England. And that has been causing me some problems. So basically on my NHS number here, my first dose isn't recorded, which means I have proof that I've had my second dose, which is kind of proof that I've had my first dose. Um, but it also means that when they're administering the vaccine, they're a bit like, where's your first dose? And I'm like, ah, here's the paperwork to show that I've had it. So I'm bringing my paperwork to show that I've had my first dose. I don't think it'll be an issue because I already had my second dose in England. Um, but I really hope that they sort it out because when I was traveling during the summer through about those days, that caused like, a bit of a hiccup and I was really, really stressed out. So doing that, I've got my mask and everything um and i'll see y'all when i'm prickled pricked i don't know <laughs> I'm boosted, um, it kind of hurt. I don't really like needles, but I did a little shop. I bought a steak and also bought cheesecake and Ben and & Jerry's and I'm just so excited to eat that. dinner it was very good my flat is relatively clean it's nothing nothing crazy but it's tidied up i've hoovered and everything so i'm feeling quite good living in it and resting in it um, it's 6 30 i'm just gonna rest all evening um nothing too crazy anyways i'll catch you guys tomorrow